hi guys if you're interested in knowing how i got my hair looking like this we are going to be using a hair growth spray that i use you don't need to wash it out i used it in my hair and after drying it this is how my hair is looking like so if you are interested in growing your hair then keep on watching if you are new to this channel please subscribe make sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time we drop a new video here we teach you how to grow your natural hair beautifully without any bold spots or scanty hairlines if you are suffering from any bold patch you are going to grow your hair you are in the right place so keep on watching so we are going to begin this tutorial by pouring in hot water this is water that i boiled in my water boiler and then i left it for a few minutes so this is like look warm it doesn't matter if it's really hot immediately or not so i'm using approximately 300 uh, milliliters of hot water because it will go in my spray bottle that i will use for the entire week from monday to say uh saturday right up to the weekend that i'm washing my hair so i'll say do this quantity because you need to refresh or remake your spray every week so i'm pouring it into a jar right now a glass jar for example and i'm going to come in with the first ingredient which is great when it comes to bald spot growing thin hair making it thicker as you can see my hair is pretty thick and healthy it is because i've been consistent using cloves cloves is very good when it comes to hair loss it will thicken thin hair to thick hair so that is why i'm using that i use you can use two tablespoons or one and a half this was the last quantity i had and the second ingredient guys is my green tea green tea is great when it comes to hair loss if your hair is shedding a lot consider using green tea for this to stop okay so i'm using two bags of green tea right here i'll add it into the mix right there one special ingredient guys this is my mint leaf you can use a dry one your mint tea in this case i'm using my mint tea which has the green mint leaves inside so you can get the fresh mint leaf from the stores so mint leaf helps in removing dandruff helps in preventing hair loss it improves blood flow circulation on your scalp and helps to improve your hair growth so these are the three main ingredients that i'm including in this spray because this 2022 I'm working on retaining length making my hair growing healthy from the roots to the ends of my hair and after one hour this is how my mixture is looking it is concentrated packed with all the nutrients and antioxidants right here mint leaves is also high in carotene and anti oxidants okay the fight against any scalp issues especially when it comes to dandruff so i'm going to transfer it right now into my spray bottle and i used a paper wipe because a lot of you don't have good strainer so this is the on, the the common way you can uh, strain your mix your sprays and all that it is perfectly well so i'm straining it right now into my um, spray bottle so i don't get any particles into my spray i'm not adding any essential oils because the mint is already serving a lot in in order for me not to add my uh, peppermint oil that i usually add but if you want to add any essential oil at this point go ahead and add a few drops and you're good like this so moving on do not go away if you have not yet subscribed what are you waiting for join our wonderful family right here 
to grow your hair beautifully so this is how our mix is looking now this mixture is going to last you for a whole entire week up to seven days so once you use it the first day put it in a fridge if you don't have a fridge put it in a cool place so that your spray doesn't get bad okay now this is my hair i showed you guys in my previous video showing you my award for my 100,000 and after stretching my hair this is how my hair has been and right now my scalp is dry i can feel itches here and there on my scalp just to signal me that it needs some moisturizing so i went ahead and did the spray and you guys just keep on watching hmm? So first of all, I'll use the spray on my scalp and then to the ends of my hair. So my hair hair, uh, hair doesn't split at the ends. As you can see, my hair is healthy right, from, uh, right up to the tips. So I'm, I'm spraying it on my scalp, massaging it because my scalp is the issue right now. My hair is clean. This spray, you do not need to wash it, guys. The green tea, the cloves, and the peppermint is going to work with everything together. Will give you a healthy scalp, healthy growth, and all that. So if you're suffering from hair loss and bald patches and all that, consider using this spray. You can use it overnight. You can use it during the day. This is during the day I'm using it. I can still use it at night. So depending on you, go with what works for you. So after... Um, finishing with my scalp i go to the oldest part of my hair which is the ends and then i just spray it all across the strand massage it into my hair and once i'm done with that i'm going to introduce you to the hair growth oil that i'll be using and as well as my butter so keep on watching So right here I'm using my neem oil. It is also great when it comes to scalp and dandruff issues and also my neem butter. I'm going to link the videos of this neem oil in the description box and also the neem um, hair growth butter. All these are already in the channel. So after spraying, I go ahead and use my oil especially on my ends which are the oldest part of my hair and on my scalp as well and I take the butter and just use it to seal it in all this moisture that I've added onto my strands and I massage it to go into my strands and at the end of the day my hair looks really soft and it shrinks as it is absorbing the moisture as you can see so yeah this is how I re moisturize my hair after a week of blow drying it and yeah guys and one more thing if you know your hair tangles a lot especially if you're fall sick really kinky it is really nice if you can work with stretch hair or keep your hair stretched all throughout the week especially if you don't braid your hair as often as like me so this is how everything is looking after finishing all the sections so um, my hair is looking all moisturized and soft so I'm going to go ahead and show you how much quantity I use and this one will be going into my fridge for the next application day okay I've been using clothes for the past year now and it's working amazingly on my hair so I'm just massaging everything just so my scalp can sit quietly after this because it was itching from the beginning so yes now that it's moisturized and all sitting like a baby and after a while I went ahead and used my Cantu heat protectant and just use my hand dryer to blow dry my hair because this is how I want to keep my hair straight for this week as well because I intend to take some photos for my birthday so it's easier to walk from a straight hair 
to any style of your choice so i love, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i love how my hair is growing every day bye